There is a new integration between Google Meet and Google Classroom, and I'm excited to share that with you today. This is unique for each classroom, so you will need to set it up in each individual class. To begin, click on the settings gear in the top right hand corner and scroll down under the general section until you locate the section for Meet. To begin, you'll need to click on Generate Meet link. Notice that a new unique code has now been created for this particular class. If you do not want your students to see the code yet, toggle this button off until you are ready. When you are ready, turn this on and the link will now be visible to you and your students on the stream and the classwork page. You can click on the arrow next to the link. You can choose to copy this link. This is helpful if you need to share and invite someone who is not in your Google Classroom. Maybe it's a co-teacher or an expert who is visiting your class. You can also reset this code as needed. When you are finished, click on Save in the top right hand corner to activate these changes. Now, when you and your students visit the classroom, you will see the Meet link is displayed at the top of the stream page as well as on the classwork page. Using Meet inside Google Classroom is magic. Your students will not be able to join the Meet before you, and they will also not be able to rejoin after you end the meeting. Let's take a look from the student view. I'm in as a student now, and I do see the link at the top of my page. When I click it, you will see the student gets the message, the meeting code you entered does not work. That's because the teacher has not started the meeting yet. I'm going to switch back to the teacher view now and I'm going to start the meeting. I will click on join now. Notice no one else is here. And I'm going to also get a pop-up message that says, with this meeting nickname, it can only be used within Fayette County Public Schools. That means that only those with a Fayette County email address will be able to join your Meet. If you want someone outside of your Meet to join, you would share that link with them, as we saw earlier. And then when they pop up, a box will appear for you to either approve or deny letting them into the Meet. I recommend you do not let anyone in that you do not know. I'm going to jump back over to the student view now. Now when I come in, since my teacher has already started the meet, I should be able to easily join. I'm going to jump back to the teacher view. This is when the magic takes place. You can carry on with your Meet. You can share wonderful, all of your wonderful knowledge. You can present your screen and share things with your students. You can record the meeting, all of these amazing features of Meet. But when you're done, you need to be the last one to leave. Now, I know you would not leave your classroom with the lights on and the students inside and lock the door. So let's not do that with Meet either. Please ask your students to leave. You can check this by, in the right hand corner, clicking on the participant or the people icon. I can see I have a lingering student, so if they don't leave on their own, I can click on the drop down arrow next to their name. And there's now a remove button. Do this for each student until all of them have been removed from the classroom. I'm the only one here. It's safe to end the meeting. I'm going to hang up and return back to my classroom. Now students can no longer join the meet. Let's check it out. I'm going to pop back into the student view. And here's the same link from earlier. When I click this as a student, uh oh, they get the message, the meeting code you entered does not work. Okay, I need to be honest here. There is a very small time frame. I'm talking 10 to 15 seconds where if a student clicked the link again, it might let them back in the room. So as a teacher, just to be extra cautious, I might wait a minute, just a minute. 
and then come back in and click on the link myself. Once I am comfortable that no one else is here, I know that it is a safe experience for my students. To take it one step further, after you're finished with the Meet, I recommend clicking on the Settings gear again and then turning off the Meet link so that it is no longer visible to students, saving it, and then turn it on again when it's time for your next Meet. You can always share a reminder to your students. so that they remember when and where to look for their link. If you're not using Google Classroom, no worries. You can still use Meet. I recommend you visit the FCPS NTI website. Click on Teacher Resources and Online Meeting Tools. And you will find all of our documentation for setting up a Meet without using Google Classroom.